Assalamualaikum. Today we are building an ATM console application in TypeScript. We get ATM function. Uh, so where we can open an account, uh, we can also uh, create a ATM pin and uh, cash withdrawal and deposit or in that uh, system so uh, it will be contain many sections obviously we will create uh, a data structure in this uh, a node material also we will an account opening section then there will be authentication in it where we can authenticate uh, with the uh, user name and pin code uh, then fun, uh, fundamentals of atm functionalities like create uh, uh, atm menu where someone can check the balance uh, and uh, their debit card number uh, and we'll uh, offer the options to withdraw deposit and checking the balance on existing accounts also then the withdrawal function we will make a withdrawal function error handling we will also handle the errors and, uh, and these are the different uh, section we will make step by steps uh, to complete this project uh, could be a bit uh, a longer project that we had made before so we will complete it section by section and I will explain you in details okay, let's start first we will make uh, an folder a new folder here with ATM project okay and uh, we will open this by right clicking more options open with code and uh, first of all we will set up our node project uh, let me drag Okay, let me drag the VS code from the screen okay so first uh, I'll make index.ts file okay and uh, I'll drag open my terminal from bottom and we will quickly make our project ready uh, first we need to do d s c s in it and then uh, to initiate the node.js project we will do npm in it minus why initiate our uh, package torsion file initially and then we will do it here tsc minus w to initiate the watch mode uh, for compiler and uh, click here in the plus sign to open a new terminal okay so let's start next thing we need to install uh, two required modules where which we will use here i'll use the same modules that we used before npm install uh, inquirer and i'll use uh, chalk 
okay while it will be installed we will do some uh, modification in, in our ts config file here we will do es 2020 2022 okay that's better and uh, in target and then in module we will do here node next okay and uh, we will also uh, uncomment this module resolution and also node next okay so we can also like uh, assign our root directory we can uncomment that directory okay so I will make a new directory here click here in the empty space and uh, make a new folder src and in that folder I will move my index.ts file Both. Move. we need to define here the root directory the root directory would be src okay. new file dot git ignore okay installation is completed I believe okay so we will import uh, I will close all other files so there will be no confusion that we need to do let's commit it first once okay it is taking some time okay still taking some time so we already get ignored that so we can do I will publish it to GitHub. Do it as a public. Okay, it is publishing right now. As uh, Node modules are installing in Node modules folder and it is already in Git ignore, so there is no worry. It will not. have any issues so our github is publishing let's start next thing okay let's uh, import the modules I believe we can do it now so we will import inquirer Wrong. Inquirer. Okay. And import chart from chart. okay actually this error is coming uh, we didn't install a type node dev dependencies so we have to install that first go to the terminal I'll go to the terminal and uh, we will install npm install types node dependencies uh, I need to add here okay. 
Hi. Module. Okay, now it's finished, right? So these are the changes that we need to do to start our project. Let's make a data structure right now. Okay, it will be interface customer. like name okay uh debit debit card number we'll take it this string as well pin number and uh, balance also number okay so this will be the data structure and uh, to initialize an array to store data store customer data we will do the let customer customer and uh, make an array which will which is right now is empty okay all right uh, so we will make some room here we will close our terminal side and sidebar. Let's save. Commit our code. Till now. Update and comment. And we'll close the sidebar. Here we will save the customer's data. So for that we will make a global variable which is access globally and uh, whoever we will make a new customer will uh, like make an account it will save data here and whenever they log in again their data is will be already saved so they can authenticate uh, their data as well we uh, for it will use for the authentication actually okay so that uh, let's make uh, for authentication we'll make a let a very a global variable for that current customer this will be the customer type will be the customer or undefined undefined if it is not a customer so I will be the capital C because here is a uh, type we choose with the capital C or <coughs> undefined is equal to undefined right and uh, next we'll create a function to generate a rendered debit card number because we need a debit card number as well and for every customer we will generate a new debit card number 
so here we will use the same function Uh, that we used uh, in guess the number game uh, random dot dot math random dot dot uh, math dot floor so same one we'll use here so it will be const god number is equal to Random debit card number is called so. And here we will we'll enter card number is equal to four. This is like uh, any number we can take, but let's take it four. Form length and form an form an array. Okay, which length will be fifteen? If the other length will be fifteen, it's mean it is has a total. Uh, first digit is four, and then length fifteen. Okay. So that array will be formed by a function function Or we can directly write here. Okay, this is extra. Everything is okay. Okay, let me explain you this. No, it is uh, we generate a random debit card number, and the function will was uh, a, in the function uh, card number will be starting from the four. Okay, and plus an array from. Uh, a random array from the length of 15 uh, and it will be generated with mat floor mat dot random into 10 two dots and all these number was joined by uh, let's give it a space here uh, without any space okay so let's see what we have generated we will check console dot row ts node dot src dot index dot js Okay, and 
let's check what this function has been generated it's defined undefined this generated undefined actually it is undefined as uh, return card number let's see now okay it is successfully generated let's commit it and uh, one minute i want to check one thing more so it generate a random card number yes it is generating a random card number starting with number four okay so debit card numbers are generating fine okay in next step uh we will make a function to open a new account open a new account for that uh, we will use uh, make this function in uh, we will make a async function because uh, here we uh, need an input from uh, inquirer and uh, unlike we if, if some person want to open an account uh, he will give us some information to open account so initially we need only two information for from the customer uh, from the client number one is like his name and uh, a pin code that he will generate and uh, that pin code uh, we will make invisible so let's do it so const open account and uh, okay It will, we want to make it async function. Mm -hmm. So I need to do a lot of coding here. So I will make some room. First of all, for the function, will do the console.log so what is the function about we'll use uh, I want to use here chalk so from chalk dot green okay and here use the backtick welcome to the etm okay we will change uh, the messages if we need so what answers we need from uh, the customer here we'll use uh, a wait function with inquire and because uh, I want to ask more than one cust uh, one question so I will make an array of object so array of objects okay in the first object we will take input and 
Okay, sorry. Type input. We'll do the comma because every uh, item of the an object will be name of name comma and uh, message. to your name okay to validate uh, this input uh actually what i need uh, i need to validate if the customer is already exist and if a customer is already exist or the name is already exist uh, the new customer cannot make the you uh, like a uh, name or of the same name so he have to choose a different name if he want to make a new account if uh, just uh, just for uh, we will you know uh, avoid a duplicate accounts for that because we, we have only uh, using very limited data so I will uh, make the validations own name as authentications and validations on the name so let's do it for that validate validate what will validate input if input here we will define the input what I need here we need to check here if the name is already exist in customers okay so how we will validate that const we will make a variable with existing customers which will be it's called customer road find where in C C name is equal to input Okay. Here I need uh, maybe one more bracket. Where C is okay. if. existing customer what will do okay simply return I will give a message here this name is already exists please choose and other name okay okay we are getting error here if we see uh, we already defined customers before let's see why uh, this error is coming okay. yeah it is just because uh, i missed misspelled 
so I will collect it and now this error will be finish okay so that's why the error was here okay. so so far we have been uh, there so it's, it's, it's a long journey I hope it will take like uh, one more than uh, one or two videos so we will continue next video by tomorrow thank you very much being with me take care have a nice day please subscribe my channel bye